Hello, this is Ash, the founder of Schemantra, and today we are going to talk about uh, structured data for real estates. But uh, before we start, I would like to mention that uh, structured data has been the subject of my research for the past year. So if you would like to see more of these kind of workshops and learn more about the fundamentals of Semantic Web, please subscribe. Thank you. So let's start talking about schema markups for real estates. If we Google, for example, apartment for sale, and look at the results in Google search. We find these apartment listings where it has an image. It has a title and description, of course, but it also has a price. And there is also open house. And there is the area that these apartments are listed for. And there is the areas where other apartments. So I live in Calgary and it's showing me that I can also look for all these other area where this real estate agency is uh, covering. So back to Schemantra and let's start and have a look at the real estate schemas and see how they look like if we go to create new and then we go to the graphical view and then here in the graphical view we want to look at the apartment schema and see where it's coming from so if we go to this uh, graphical view and enlarge this a little bit and this is the place and then we go down to accommodation and in the accommodation we can find house apartment and room and all other real estate kind of listings so anything that applies to apartment uh, to an apartment applies to all other schema forms. Apartment schema is an accommodation schema, but it's more specific type. Whatever you want to build, whether if you would like to build an apartment schema, a house schema or a villa schema, a room schema or a campaign pitch schema, the same rule applies for all of them. So whatever you learn in this workshop is going to be applicable for all of them. Here in the dashboard, uh, before we start doing the apartment schema, every apartment schema is listed on a web page. We are actually telling a story for Google here. We are telling that there is a web page and the main entity of the web page is the apartment. So let's start creating the web page schema, web page and submit. And I am going to give it an ID for, as a web one. Every schema has to have an ID that is a mandatory field here. You cannot save the schema without having an ID. And the ID can be anything you call it. You can call the schema anything you want. I'm just going to call it web one because it's a web page schema. In the web page schema, you can fill any properties that exist on your page. So anything that that is applicable on your page, you can fill it here or you can just leave it blank like what I'm doing here. But if you have anything important that you want to mentioned that is going in, in your web page you can list it on this property side here save schema now this is the web page i'm going to click on it and click the plus sign and go to the find the main entity this is the main entity of the page and i am going to choose the main entity a thing i can choose an apartment but i, I want to be more general so you can list anything you want later on i'm going to show you how to list an apartment or how to list a villa inside the thing but if i choose the apartment you're not going to know how to list other uh, services because they are not mentioned here so i'm just going to choose the thing schema and i'm going to call it thing and save it now i'm going to make the apartment schema apartment submit i'm gonna call it apartment one and this is the properties for the apartment here you can fill all the important information about your apartment except for the price there is no field for the price which we're gonna learn how to do it later on but apart from that everything that is about your apartment you can mention it here you can mention the address of your apartment the description you can talk about your apartments here where is where it's located what are the amenities near your apartments where is what are all the good things about it floor level the url of the map the image the urls of the image uh, if it's accessible for free or not the name uh, this is the title of your listing the name of the apartment or the title of the listing uh, number of bedrooms number of bathrooms number of partial bathrooms numbers of rooms in general pits are allowed or not own url and the year built let's say the year built is 2022 and save schema and now let's go and validate the schemas that we created so far let's get the apartment schema we copy the code and then we paste the code in the validator so this is our apartment here 
and then we go to the web page the web page is linked to the thing so if you go to the web page you will get both of these schemas and let's paste it here and here we have a web page and apartment and I want to tell Google that the main entity of this page is the apartment so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ID of the apartment which is apartment one and change the ID of the thing and make it apartment one so if we go back to the dashboard and we edit the thing and change the ID of the things to apartment one which is the same ID for the apartment we just created click save schema and then get the web page code again let's get it and paste it over the old code click play now it's it's all showing uh, one schema with a solid story as this is a web page of course it's a web page because this is where the apartment is listed and the main entity of the web page is an apartment so now we want to tell people about the open house hours and dates let's go back to the schema generator and if you click on the apartment and click plus sign and then go all the way down to uh, special opening hour specifications so we choose if you click here and give it uh, an id opening hours here you can mention uh, the open hours the time of the opening let's say uh, it opens at 12 i would say closing at uh, 4 pm here you can say the date where are the dates that is valid so it's valid from this date until this date you give it another date here so here we added the opening hours for people to come and uh, if they want to come and visit the apartment and this is save some schema and uh, now if we take the apartment code again and paste it over the apartment code here and now we can see web page and main entity of the apartment and there is special opening hours specification and all these hours from 12 to 6 and this is the dates this is great now we want to give it uh, a price and if you go to the apartment properties you can never find a, a place for adding a price but at the same time there is another way around it uh, which we can consider this apartment as a product which is also a product because it has a price and it has an offer and everything if we go back to schemantra create a product and we will give it the same ID for the apartment. So I'm gonna go here, look for a product, and click submit. And I'm going to give this product the same uh, ID that I gave to the apartment, which is apartment one, and save. Just to make sure these two are the same ID, this product if we want to put a price on it we click on the plus sign and we look for an offer and there is the offer here and i'm gonna call it offer and this is the price let's say twenty thousand the price currency is in canadian dollars save sub schema so if we take this product schema here copy the code and add it and if we validate it so the main entity is an apartment and it's also a product and this product or the apartment has a special hours hours and it has an offer and there's the price you can list the price here and the price currency here now we want to tell google who is making this offer this offer if we click on it click the plus sign and uh, look for offered by so it's an effort by an organization we click on organization and we give it a name uh, i'm gonna give it a name realtor one and save it i'm just going to save it because i don't want to uh, uh, keep this as an organization i want to change it uh, for a real estate agent so we save it now and we go create a real estate agent schema and we give it the same ID as this organization. So we go here and we look for real estate, real estate agent. 
real estate agent is is also an organization schema but it's coming out of local business so we are this is still an organization but it's more specific part of an organization which is a real estate special schema before i click on it i'm gonna go to the graphical view and show you where is the real estate agent located so if we go this is the organization then down it will be local business because it's more specific and you can see here store medical business automotive business all the way going here to a real estate agent so if you click on this real estate agent and you look at where it's coming from it's coming from the local business and the organization and submit and I'm gonna call it Realtor1, the same ID as in the organization that we just created. And here you can put all the information about your organization, about your real estate agent, where is the area serving, if it's a branch or not, description of your institution, a starting date, a diversity policy, email, phone, everything you want to mention about your organization, it's here. You don't have to fill all these properties, you only have to fill what's needed or what's in your page, what's showing to your customers. I'm just going to add the ID for the real estate agent and I'm gonna leave everything blank and I'm gonna save it and again I'm going to copy this apartment code because we added an offer and then we added an organization to the offer so offered by this organization and this organization is the real estate agent so if I take this it's gonna copy those three schemas so I'm gonna take them from here and go back to the apartment schema and I'm going to add the last schema which is the real estate agent and let's validate now hold on we are not done yet but this is what we having here and the last thing we can do here to be very very specific on this schema is telling google that is this is also a real estate listing if we go back and we go create new and go to real estate listing submit i just want to give it the same id as the apartment and then i will save it and if i go here and click on the view code Now let's delete this code and start over. We have all the codes ready on Schemantra. We just have to copy them. Uh, I'll show you where to copy from and then we and we will get back and validate it here. Let's clear this code, go back to Schemantra. So we started first by creating a web page and we added a thing on it. We call it apartment one. So this is the first code, it's here. Let's copy this code. So this is the first part. And let's go back. So after we created the the web uh, the web page and added the apartment, we created an apartment schema and call it apartment one, and we added opening hours to it. So let's go here. This should be connected to this one. So we will take the code from here and click view code, get the code here and paste. So we took the apartment and the opening hours, and then we created a product and we call it also apartment one, which is the same name. ID name with this apartment so we go to the apartment one the apartment is connected to the offer and the offer is created by the organization so those three schemas should be all together we will take them from here paste the code here go back now we got the apartment and the offer the product and the offer and uh, the organization we also created a real estate agency and we call it Realtor1 as the same ID name of this organization. So let's take the Realtor code, paste. And finally, we added this uh, real estate listing to the apartment. Let's take the code from here and we paste it and we validate it. And this is the final code page. And the main entity of the web page is this apartment, which is also a real estate listing and a product. And this is the specification for the apartment, the number of bathrooms and bedrooms, the address and all of that. This is the special opening hours for people if they would like to come and see it. This is the offer and that's the price of the apartment and the price currency and all the other information you would like to list either in the offer or on the on anything here and finally this offer this offer is offered by an organization and uh, which is a real estate agent and of course you can add all the information about your real estate agency under this real estate agent and put it all together so this schema basically explain exactly what's going on on the page if you are selling an apartment uh, now one last question what if we have a lease offer instead of a selling offer? 
So if I want to lease this apartment instead of selling it, what can I do? So the answer is very simple. Let's go back to the dashboard. We are in the dashboard here and we have an offer and inside it there is a selling information. There is a price information. And this offer has an ID of offer. So we remember this ID, it's offer. We go here, create new and we look for an offer lease or a lease offer. We have an offer for lease, this one. Submit and we give it the same ID, offer. This is the offer availability and the description of the offer, the name of the offer and this offer has a price so I'm gonna give it like $150 a month and the price currency in Canadian and uh, let's click save. Now we have this uh, offer for lease, we can go and uh, view the code, get it and add it to this uh, schema here and uh, let's validate it. So. Now we have two offers. One of them is leasing offer and one of them is selling offer. So what we can do is go back to the selling offer we had created in the beginning and uh, remove this uh, 20,000 price. So if we go back and um, let's get back to the offer, edit and look for the price. So this is the price. Let's remove the price and remove the currency. Just keep the offer itself and uh, go back and take the, the offer code which starts from uh, the product so i think this is the old code here let's validate and yes we removed the the twenty thousand price and we kept the the offer for lease and it's 150 dollars Thank you so much for watching and if you would like to see more of this, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.